Okay, so Lunopolis is weird. It's about these documentarians, a little group of them. They have a friend who's kind of like, he's supposed to be Art Bell, I'm sure, who's a radio host, and someone called in claiming to be from Area 51 to his show, uh, and he told these guys, and then later on, see, I'm struggling to even keep up with it because there's so much plot, I'll get into that, um... And then later on, the guy also sent him some pictures, and on the back of one of the pictures was written uh, GPS coordinates, so they decided to go to those coordinates, figure out what was going on with this guy who was claiming he wasn't from Area 51, and that there are moon people, and all, all of that kind of stuff. One thing about this movie is the graphic design is really bad, in that endearing sort of way. It reminded me of the news clip in Birdemic. It was Birdemic. I had to think about that. When they do the news stories on there, it was about that level. So it had this kind of cute feeling to it. The coordinates take them to a trap door, which leads down into the ground, which leads into a lift, which leads into a place where they end up running into some humans who try to run after them, and they steal the blueprints and a bunch of files for some stuff that they don't understand. That's like the first 15-20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> this movie was... This movie is a lot. Um, then there's this thing called the Church of Lunology. It's supposed to be like this universe's version of the Church of Scientology. And they try to investigate the church because it's the only tie back to the moon, which is moon people is why they were going down to the caves in the first place and apparently the blueprints they got are for a thing that it happens to be a time machine and then at some point they take it they, they rebuild it and they take it to their friend and their friend who's i think a scientist is surprised by it and then an, like an emerald falls out of it that glows and that's the moonstone and i'm just gonna stop recounting events there because there's way more than that. And that's the problem with this movie. Beneath all of that, there's a plot and a love for which you can tell this movie was made. They really put a lot into it. One of their cameras is very obviously older, an older digital camera than their main camera. Um, so it gives it kind of this early 2000s blurry handheld feeling for some of the shots. I am not the youngest squid, so it's possible I'm just nostalgic for that look, but I don't think so. It kind of adds it a little bit of cuteness. Same with the graphic design. The plot is, like I said, great. There's a lot there. There's enough for three or four movies there, but I've been rambling about this for long enough. It's got a lot of heart, it's got absolutely terrible pacing. Between all of the factors that I just put in, I would give this a 2.5 out of 5. It's not terrible. It's interesting, and if you're in the right kind of mood or you're the right kind of person, I think this would be really interesting to you. It would be right down your alley. If you love learning lots of world-building lore about things, if you don't, you are going to hate this movie. Don't even give it a chance. So I'm just going to put a square in the middle at 2.5 because I think it's going to be something that's pretty divisive, but I gotta give it all the points I can. They tried. I am a lore fiend. I'm a huge fan of Forgotten Realms before 4th edition came around in D&D, ending at 3.5. But I'm a huge Forgotten Realms fan. I've read so many of the novels. I own all of the hardcover books. And there was a time in my life where you could ask me any question and I could come up with the answer for you. And this movie was too much for me. <laughs> That's my best summary. If you're really into a setting and you love lore, this movie is probably going to be a little much for you, even then. They just try to pack too much information into it. At one point, I wrote down that they had been explaining time travel and multiple planes and parallel dimensions for th the last 30 minutes. And that was a generous, um, generously low number. 